Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragomania Legends! So today we do have a legendary dragon to hatch and the legendary is the final basic legendary dragon that we can actually breed and it is the crystal dragon. So obviously the crystal dragon is like technically the last legendary that you can get by breeding together the emperor plus magnet dragons but we got them a couple of days ago which is pretty sweet. The Crystal Dragon is a surprisingly graceful dancer whose natural beauty is enhanced by the rainbow sunbeams reflected through its prism as it twirls. How cute! How cute is that? I mean, you can barely see him just because of how light he is, but that is pretty good that we finally managed to get this guy. And he's pretty cute as a baby as well, but obviously quite a few people, <clears throat> excuse me, use the Crystal Dragon in quite a few of their teams actually, but... I mean, I've already got my teams out, so I won't be using this guy, but, you know, it's just pretty cool to have him here, in general. Just to finally be able to say, look, it's taken me months and months, but we have finally, finally gotten the Crystal Dragon. So here he is, in all his beautiful glory, and I think my uh, breeding dragons were both at level 30? At least level 20 to breed this guy, but, again, he did take me about 6 months on and off to breed, so that is going pretty good. But since we do have him, now if we go to our collection, wherever it is, I always forget where to find it these days. Where is it? It's down here now. There we go, and it is in the Dazzling Crystal section. So if we claim that you've collected all the dragons required, congratulations. Thank you very much, game. I appreciate some extra gems at this point, especially during the event. He looks so cool just being with the rest of the legendaries now. But on top of that, I also wanted to go through what was happening in tier 6 of the event because either if you're getting there just now, like I only just got here really, and you're kind of wondering what's happening with all the battles, then there are a couple of things out there that you can check, but I have a small table from the Dragon Mania Legends wiki that is going to be on the screen somewhere. But, I needed to work out which one of these sections of fights that I could actually do. But if you've got plant dragons, then level 6 is going to be a cakewalk for you. If you don't have plant or water dragons, you're probably going to have a very bad time. Because if we head over to the right hand side here, which is the bottom right, then the first one I believe is a water and plant fight. And then the second one here is a fire plus earth fight here. Which does mean that I can't actually go this way because I don't have fire and earth dragons to do this with. Which is a massive shame. And then again, if we go up here, then this chest here, the fight before it, is another fire plus plant fight. So, if you don't have fire or plant, it's a shame, but on the way up here, you're not going to be able to get this chest either. And then if we go to the middle left... Then we have two water and plant fights here, and then this one, I believe, is a fire and earth fight. So another chest that I cannot do. So this one and this chest so far are the ones that I can't actually do at the moment. Which means I'd have to go all the way over here to this side, and then this one here is a plant and metal fight and a water plus plant fight. So again, it's just plant and plant and plant apart from like three, two fights actually, I think. And then if we head up to the top right section, then we have a plant and metal fight and a water plus plant fight. And then all the way up this nifty green scary part. And then we have no fights here. So that is just a straight path that is going to cost you a ton of pumpkins just to go through the floor panels and there's some cute little ghosties over here and are there any more? I really love the design on this map there are a few ghosts everywhere some broken statues and that on the way around oh there's quite a few ghosts actually you could have like a little ghost army if you really wanted to oh that guy followed me immediately oh look at you mister how have you been? but yeah again if you don't have plant on your team, this is going to be a massive hell of a time for you. But, um, you know, if you are struggling, then I guess you can always skip the fights. But apparently 
this entire floor can cost between like 30,000 and 70,000 pumpkins is what I've heard. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but that is what I've been told and I've seen on a couple of the Facebook groups. So, you know, I'm just going to take it as it is, but I can't actually collect anything else yet because I already did that just a little bit ago. But that is mostly all I needed to say. Apart from that, just make sure that you're choosing the right path. So if you can't do fire and earth like me, don't go to those chests. If you can't do plant fights, then I am very sorry for you. I, I wish you the best of luck in getting the Hellhound, in all honesty. But my nose is kind of destroyed, so I'm going to go now. But we did get a lovely, lovely legendary crystal dragon today, which is pretty good. So... We've got this final guy to add, and I don't know what else to breed anymore. There is nothing left for me to breed. Which sucks. But, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.